hello my loves welcome back to my channel i just thought while i'm sat here all on my own with my little friend here hello um that i would do a quick little life update video i look like crap um i had a nap we've had a nap um as you can see it was leaning on my arm <laughs> it's a bit red you're a bit dazed because you've only just woken up and now I'm talking to myself. This here, if you haven't watched the vlog, because by the time this goes up, if I put it up, this is Christopher's or Chez's or Chris's, however you know him, his 30th birthday present. <laughs> We've got him a little kitten. She's freaking adorable. But if you haven't watched that vlog, I'll link it somewhere so you can go over and watch it. But I thought I would do a bit of a life update video for you all. Spare at the moment, very random unplanned let's just have a chat shall we let's just have a chit chat with our little fur friend right here um i'm gonna put this down because i keep looking at it and i know it drives me nuts it's gonna drive you nuts okay so where do we begin where do we begin little no name because you haven't got a name yet no you haven't um where shall i start firstly there's someone about to walk past the window and they're gonna see me talking to myself so we'll wait 30 seconds for this to happen hey friend firstly i am in chris's house if you haven't noticed because, like I just said, I'm waiting for him to get back from LA so that I can surprise him with his little fur baby here. So yeah, I'm all on my own. My mum was here for a few days and then she has gone back. She has to go back to work. And so yeah, it's just me and the little one for today and then most of tomorrow. Chris is back tomorrow. That's why I'm here. Secondly, since I last saw you, I've had my nose pierced. Please ignore how red it is right now. I'm really struggling. This is another reason why I wanted to message you, message you guys. No. Um, chat to you guys because I have my nose pierced. I had it done in February. Um, I absolutely love it. It's something that I've always wanted to do and finally did it. But that little spot that comes up has, has come up and it will not go away. And I've been trying everything and it won't go away. And I actually made it bleed today when I was cleaning it. I think I knocked my ring a little bit and um, she's just staring at me. And it's it like started to bleed, which is why it's really red right now. Uh, so if you have any advice for that, let me know. Uh, still loving London. I know the last time I vlogged properly, uh, apart from Salzburg, was just after I'd moved to London. I'd only been there maybe a few weeks, if that. Uh, a few months maybe, I can't remember when I last vlogged actually. Um, still loving it, yeah. Uh, I've been here, there, nearly... 10 months now yeah yeah it must be like it's june and i moved in august so yeah i've been there 10 months still loving it loving the excitement the busyness like amazing all the girls i live with i absolutely adore we're having a great time yeah like, i have nothing bad to say about london apart from the fact that it's freaking expensive to live there and i'm broke right now and l just living each day as best i can <laughs> <laughs> anyone that has just moved to London or lives in London will completely understand what what I mean uh, it's it's kind of intense when you first move to London third update is I now have a tattoo I got my first tattoo this is like like a week and a half old It's kind of pretty much healed now Um, I have wanted this tattoo for a long time if you followed my YouTube or Twitter or Instagram or anything basically me on social media you will know that I have wanted a semicolon on my wrist for a really really long time if you don't know the meaning but behind the semicolon tattoo or like symbol it is the symbol of mental health basically the saying is and you can correct me in the comments if I get this wrong but the general idea of it is an author uses a semicolon when it's the end of his sentence but it's not the end of the chapter it symbolizes anything to do with mental health so obviously the majority of it is suicidal awareness um, depression and anything to do with mental health and um, as you are all aware um, I suffered quite badly from anxiety and depression a few years ago and also mental health in general is a massive thing for my family so I really really wanted to get this not only for myself to remind myself of the strength that I have and what I've been through and where we are now and like how I didn't think that this would ever happen I have not but here we are but also for every single member of my family that suffers from anything to do with mental health depression anything yeah so it's kind of a sim, sim it's symbolic for that so it's a small tattoo but with a massive massive meaning I mean this was really spontaneous I actually went with Laurel so life of Laurel my housemate I went with her to get her tattoo and we've kind of been joking around saying that um oh you should ask about yours like they'll just do it really quickly it's only small uh and I was like yeah yeah whatever whatever and then we went and I was like no nah, no nah, I'm not even gonna bring it up 
And we started talking about it and they were just like, just do it. And the tattoo guy was like, I'll flip a coin. How do you get it done? Tell us you don't. Obviously it landed on heads, but I'm so happy that I finally got it done. Um, but I'm such a spontaneous person that that was obviously going to be more of a scenario that I would be in to get something like this done. Um, rather than me like consciously booking it, making the effort to go and being like, yeah, this is what I'm going to do, this is when I'm going to do it. For this sort of thing or for something that I know is going to cause me anxiety waiting for it to happen... I'm much better with spont spontaneity, like with making plans as well. Like I hate pre-planning things. I'd rather like get a text the day before and then someone be like, oh, we're going to do this tomorrow. Do you want to do this tomorrow? That's just kind of the person that I am because it means that I'm not, it's not in the back of my mind. I'm not worrying about it. But that's kind of a side effect from my anxiety and things. Talking a lot, talking a lot. Next up is YouTube. You guys, I miss YouTube so much you have no idea and sometimes I'm just like do you know what I'm just gonna do it the reason I stopped is because a being in London I don't massively have a lot of time to be able to sit down and edit like I used to so with the weekly vlogs I would it would take me like three or four hours to edit the vlogs and then obviously you've got the upload and thumbnails and everything else to go along with that like that three or four hours is literally just the editing and I don't have that time anymore when I was back home in Cambridge I would vlog all week obviously and then I would have no Saturday evening because I would literally just spend the whole thing editing the weekly vlogs for you guys, which I'm not complaining about because I absolutely loved it. Like, weekly vlogging kind of helped me come out of my skin a little bit. I loved it. I love editing now. Like, it's a passion of mine, especially photography. Like, editing photos, I'm just obsessed with. So I'm really, really glad that I did it in that aspect. But yeah, it's so time-consuming that I just don't know how I'm going to do it, but I really do want to get back into it. So... This is kind of my start off, I think, with getting back into that. I'm vlogging um, this weekend with giving Chris... <laughs> she's gone to sleep. Um, giving Chris the little munchkin here. And then I'm going to try and get back into it, I think. Slowly but surely. I know I've said this before. I've said it so many times. I know I have. But this time I mean it. Like, I really, really want to get back into it. Another reason I stopped doing it was just, like, a confidence and... I was quite self-conscious about it, like I was meeting a lot of new people, some people don't really get YouTube, I'm sure a lot of you are aware of that, like some people just don't get it, and if you whoop out a camera and start talking to yourself, they're a bit like, mm -hmm, what are you doing? But now I feel like I'm very confident in myself, like I'm more sure of myself, I am who I am, and I'm kind of at the stage now where I'm a bit like, you need to accept me with who I am, I feel myself, like that's what I love to do, it's what I want to do, like new people will know me as a vlogger. And I need to just get over that and be like, this is what I do. This is what I enjoy doing. This is my hobby. Hi. <laughs> so that's kind of what I need to get back into. And I think the only way I'm going to be able to do that is just by doing it and just not giving an F. Really, that's the attitude that I need to have. So that's the attitude that I'm going to try and have. And I'm going to try and get back into YouTube. It will probably be mainly vlogs as it was m mostly last year just because I find those so much easier to do. I find it very stressful to try and plan like a sit down video. I have a few ideas actually of what I would like to do for some like main videos but I need the time to be able to do them and stuff and I've got like a little list. If you have any suggestions of anything that you want to see on my channel let me know like if you've got any video ideas that you would like me to do then by all means hello. <laughs> By all means, leave it in the comments, let me know. But yeah, this is just like a rough, I was literally just sat here watching Netflix. I was like, you know what, I'm on my own. The lighting is good outside right now. Let's use natural lighting. I've got my vlogging camera. Let's just have a little chit chat to the camera and update you on where I've been and what I've been up to. But yeah, in the long run, my life really hasn't changed since I last spoke to you, like, at all. I just feel like I have changed. And I'm just so much more confident in myself and happy with where I am in life. And just grabbing it by the horns, is that the saying? Grabbing life by the horns and seeing where it takes me. But yeah, I've had some many adventures since living life like that. With obviously Salzburg being one of them. And then just some like amazing little weekends away. And girly days and stuff with the girls. I'm in a good place right now. I'm really, really happy with where I am. Obviously, I still have my hard days with my anxiety. But that is always going to be a thing. But I'm getting there. Definitely, definitely getting there. And I miss you guys so much. And I really just want to say, actually, this is going to get so sloppy. Um, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone that has stuck by me, that is still commenting on my videos, that is everyone that is still subscribing to my channel. Like, I'm nearly at 2,000 subscribers and I haven't uploaded for, like, properly for, like, eight months. So, 
thank you for that and um hopefully we will go on many more adventures together now and i will just keep you in my bag at all times and then when i want to film something i will just film it and not give two hoots as to who's around me let's hope this is a very raw video of me just sitting down having a chit chat with you looking like this because i've just had a nap my nose has just been bleeding with a little fur baby next to me i hope you enjoyed the vlog of chris receiving this little treasure uh hopefully it'll work out like i've got it all planned out as to how i want it to happen and i don't know if it's going to happen like that but who knows firstly he's going to drive around the corner and be like why the hell is Kara's car here <laughs> we're like hey <laughs> but we'll see what happens anyway you'll know what happens by now anyway because the vlog will already be up but yes hello hopefully i'm back now um videos to come thank you so much for sticking by me um all my social media links as always are still all down below i mean if i if, even though i've not been uploading videos i've been working really really hard on my instagram at the moment photography is definitely a big passion of mine right now and instagram is just my love also twitter i'm constantly on twitter so if you want to know what's going on in my life and i'm not uploading any videos make sure you follow me on my social media and then you will know everything that's going on everything that's going on because I kind of don't have secrets. <laughs> so yeah, I love you all. Mwah. Thank you so much for watching this video and coming back to my channel and subscribing. If you are not subscribed, please make sure you subscribe. I was actually looking at my analytics the other day and 91% of people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. That's so bad. Like guys, if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, click the subscribe button. I will not annoy you, I promise. But yeah, anyway, stop rambling, Cara. Get on with your evening. Go make some dinner. You are hungry. Your stomach is talking to you and I'm talking to myself. Right, I'm going. Goodbye. <laughs>